Hey Hobby World, Zach and Porter back with another video. Before we jump into that, I did want to give a YouTube hobby shout out to Hux Sports Cards. Um, I was turned on to Hux channel uh, by Triple Crown, and I got to tell you, Hux does an awesome job. He's based out of Kentucky. He just did a vlog from a, uh, a card show, and if you like vintage and set collecting, he is your guy, and he just seems to be a, a really nice guy um, in just our interactions online. So give him a, a, a check out. I will uh, drop his link to his channel uh, in the description of this video. Again, it's Hux Sports Cards. Um, longtime hobbyist, just seems like a really cool guy. I thought with him having a vintage type channel, it would be a great opportunity uh, to highlight some of the folks that we have in our collection for the Hall of Fame class yeah, that's going in tomorrow. Yeah, the, the Hall of Fame weekend is this weekend. So I'm going to start off with two guys I have cards of. And first... Wait, 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 wait. Before you do that, too, I also want to let everyone know I'm also on this video going to do the complete Carlton Fisk Tops Run. Uh, he's my favorite, probably, Hall of Famer, or at least my first favorite Hall of Famer. So uh, I'm going to run through those uh, as well. Okay, now we get into the Hall of Fame part. So this is David Ortiz, so I'm showing him off I love first. those Sporting News cards. Yeah, me too. I think you have one of uh, the Big Hurt dead, right? Yeah, and David Ortiz, actually, uh, for a while, I lived in Appleton Oshkosh, or, or worked in the Appleton Oshkosh uh, radio market. He had a home there because uh, he met his wife, uh, when he was playing for the Appleton Foxes, and they had a home in Kimberly, because that's where she was from. So he was known to go play pool at a local bar, and uh, from from all I've heard, uh, he was just a really incredible and uh, nice guy. This home run derby card's really cool. I love that. Looks like he's wearing an Astros jersey, but I don't know why. I love this next card. What, yeah. Is this an upper deck? Uh, Yeah, this is from 2007. It's an upper deck masterpiece. Look at the artwork. As you can see, the green wall of Fenway Park um, at home plate behind him. It's so cool. And you liked his interview the other day at the All-Star Game. He's quite the person out. He was yeah. going to the dugout and yeah. everything. And also <laughs> why I like him is because of the Goat Busters commercial on YouTube. Have you ever seen that? Is that the Randy Johnson, Ken yeah. Griffey Jr.? Yeah, the Randy Johnson. Uh, so on that commercial is uh, a rod's on that too yeah yeah the big unit a rod um That's big cool poppy and um the kid so yeah and then another guy that's being inducted into the hall of fame tony avila this card's really cool it's a turn back the clock 1980 that's an 89 tops. yeah 89 i know that tops. back anywhere yeah <laughs> So uh, it's pretty cool, and uh, yeah. So the next couple of guys uh, are are affiliated with our favorite baseball team, the White Sox. Uh, long overdue, uh, Mini Minoso. This is from 1977 Tops, a record breaker, the oldest player to hit safely. Wait, who, how old was he? Boy, why, see, why can't you just ask this stuff ahead of time? I, I don't know. While I'm showing the next couple, you look it up. Okay. It's got to okay. be on the back there, Smarty. Uh, next is a 1980, I think, 9, uh, one of these swell sets that they would come out with. Okay, it says many would turn 44, or excuse me, 54 that year. Holy smokes. That is so old. All right, Ted Williams. Uh, this is from 19, I believe, 93. Uh, Wait, Ted a, Williams? Well, it's a Ted Williams card oh. set. Oh! That's the set. Uh, featuring Minnie Minoso. And then this one's from 2019 Tops. They did these really cool inserts. You mean 2020? No, I think it's 2019. Here, let me look. All right. You always have to contradict the it old man. It is 2020. It is 2020? Come on. I, oh, I know You just that know this stuff. stuff. All right. Next up, uh, a guy who played for the Sox for a little bit, Jim Cat. Um, this is a 1975 Tops. We picked this up out of a dime box recently. Uh, and then this one is a 1982 Tops. We saw quite a bit of him as well when we were at uh, Bush Stadium at yeah, St. Louis. we did. So now let's get into the uh, Carlton Fisk um, Tops run. Now, this is really cool. Our, our buddy, who's a big White Sox uh, from the 108 guy, Aloha. Aloha, Mr. Hand. He sent Porter a bunch <laughs> of really cool racks, and we would trade back and forth. Yeah. And uh, you've got a few of these. Yeah, so he sent me this cool postcard. It's a Carlton Fisk uh, Hall of Fame plaque postcard. Uh you can see the Red Sox uh, cap right there. And um, in that package, he also sent me a postcard of uh, Johnny Bench, uh, I think Frank Thomas. And, La Russa. Uh, 
Yeah, and Tony La Russa. All right, so we're going to do the Carlton Fisk Tops base card run. My Grail card, I picked this up on a trade via Trading Card Database, 1972 Tops with Mike Garman and Cecil Cooper. We're going to put that bad boy uh, right up front. Uh, his first solo card, a 1973 Tops, him with the gold cup. Absolutely love this card. Sorry, Tony, that's going to hey, take no. precedent there. No, we got to put that up there. That's my hat. Here's a 1974 Tops. This one's actually in pretty crummy condition, uh, but I love this card, it being horizontal. Uh, Pudge has just got some awesome action shots. Uh, as I mentioned in previous videos, this was uh, my original kind of grail card because it was the oldest Carlton Fisk card I had from my original collection, 1975 Tops. As I've mentioned, I wasn't really big into collecting his Red Sox cards, uh, and so Porter and I had a fun time picking up a lot of these yeah. uh, as we went through. This is 1976 Tops. I love this uh, design. And speaking of the Red Sox cards thingy, um, Dad and I have said in previous videos that uh, when Dad got back into the hobby in 2020, we did our three main PCs base cards. So, Bo Jackson, Frank Thomas, and Carlton Fisk. We collected all our base cards. From from every major manufacturer yes. for the years they played. Yeah, so Tops, um, or excuse me, um, so starting with Bowman and Donruss yep. and Fleer and uh, kind of Leaf. And then score, and then tops, and then upper deck or ultra. It's it's flexed over time. This is yeah. 1977 tops, like I mentioned. A lot of really cool action shots. Mm -hmm. 78 tops with the all star. I like the uh, cursive there down in the bottom. Me too. 1979 tops again, another all star. And then we've got 1980 tops where he's looking, you know, like the man in charge, which he was. Yeah, he was. And then we've got 1981 tops. Now this is the uh, from the uh, base set. Uh, this was uh, his last Boston Red Sox card, uh, and I will show the 1981 Tops Traded, because this is one of my favorite Pudge cards. I got this one uh, after rejoining the hobby, yeah. as, as Porter just yeah. discussed, and I just love this card. I like the design. I like the, the script on the, on the blue White Sox hat, and yeah, that's his 1981 Tops Traded. Next, 1982 Tops. Uh, I think they use the same picture. It, it does look like it's the same picture. Good eye. Yeah. You got that eye. <laughs> Probably my favorite Pudge card. Nin Ever. Nah, this one and the 91. 1983 Tops. I love the shot here. I do like the 83 design with the picture in picture. Uh, it's just, I mean, he was just a, the man what on the What about that bad boy? Why isn't I, that your favorite? Well, that is a favorite, like a grail card, but just the actual beauty of the card, I like the 83. Okay. 84 tops. It's fun to get the Opeachy uh, version of these. There's a Nestle one as well. 1985 tops. I love this design. And we also, Dad, um, um, when he got back into the hobby, he already had this. He didn't get it. Well, he got it when he was a kid. A Tom Pachoric 1985 Tops autograph. That's right. That's right. 1986 mm -hmm. Tops. Now, most of these I had uh, from my original collection. Big fan of 1987 Tops. You can see Fisk through the years. Mm -hmm. He did keep him pretty incredible shape. He had a great workout regimen. Yeah. 1988 Tops. I actually like the 88 Tops design. It doesn't get a lot of love in the hobby. Uh, probably the set that I most... Um, Associate with my younger years of collecting, 1989 Tops. I love the design. I like Pudge. Looks like either he's looking down at the third base coach or uh, telling Jeff Torborg, don't don't tell me what to do. Uh, 1990 Tops. Again, we're getting to the very tail end of Pudge's career. Mm -hmm. Again, this one was close with 1983. Yeah. A horizontal action shot, 1991 Tops. You got Cecil Fielder barreling down. Pudge about to receive the ball. I believe that's Dave Bergman. I, I should have looked it up ahead of time. I just love everything about this card. This one isn't the uh, the bold uh, script in the back. There's there's that version of the 91 tops as well. Like 92, here he is taking a hit. And then his last card. Ever. Well, not well, ever, not but ever. his last playing card, 1993 tops. And it's ironic because that is one of the first sets you ever completed. Yeah, that actually was the first set I ever completed. 1993 Tops. And the last card I needed was the Derek Jeter. Yep. And so that is the uh, Carlton Fisk run. I uh, wanted to show off some of our uh, Hall of Famers that are going in tomorrow. And then once again, if you can, check out Huck's Sports Cards. Uh, I will leave the link to his YouTube channel in the description of this video. Uh, great guy. 
great content, uh, so give them a sub. Yeah. Thank you all for subbing and watching our channel. Bye-bye.